Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. How is everybody doing? Off the bat, if you know, realize something a little different with the way it's, the camera's recording, I am using the GoPro 7, but I'm not recording in 4K because I'm thinking that has something to do with my computer being slow when I'm trying to download and edit. Also, this is my second time making this intro and the GoPro stopped recording. So, my GoPro just stopped for the fifth time. I sat down, went to Google search it, and as I was waiting for my phone to load, I checked something, and my voice commands were on. So, that means every time I say stop recording, the GoPro stops recording. I've always had the uh, voice commands turned off. I have no idea how they got turned on. Obviously, the GoPro 7's touchscreen so some time maybe going in and out of my pocket i probably slid up and hit the button by accident whatever so i feel dumb <laughs> but we're gonna go take a look at the jeep because we have a major issue with it so let me just throw my shoes on all right so walking up you might not be able to see anything but if we come to the side you can see something hanging now, you can probably already guess, it's the floorboard. Now, one of the previous owners to this Jeep had like some steel just like kind of glued in there and screwed in there or whatever, but they never actually fixed the floor because right here is the actual part of the floor. And this is my carpet, which as you guys know, I kind of started working on getting the carpet out a couple weeks ago, but I haven't done anything else with it. Um. But yeah, there's that. So, thankfully, underneath my spare tire, there is a box with front floor pans in here. So, we're going to finish ripping this off. Well, I mean, it fell off, so we're just gonna finish the process at this point. Oh, no. this ain't gonna work. longer than expected but here is whatever the hell the previous owner did to this jeep to patch patch these rust holes now as you can tell my rocker is pretty rusty too i have plans for that in the future but all of this will get fixed i mean like this is barely even attached at this point to half of the floors now the Jeep is really rusty, but I have a really big attachment to this thing, so I don't want to just swap everything over to another Jeep. So that's that with the floor. The Jeep's literally starting to fall apart now. So we're going to move into talking about these tires. If you couldn't tell, I got new tires. So let's get this away. Now the wheel setup did not change at all as you guys may know. I'm a really big fan of these fake beadlock looking wheels. But the tires we have here are still, it's a 33, 12 and a half. They're a mud tire from Pro Comp. They have a crap ton of tread. Like look at, like just look at that. They're very thick. They're a three ply sidewall. Don't really know what that means but i know it's got a thick sidewall and i know they're heavy as hell the tits are still all over them um these were brand new like stickers were still on them they're still the paint or whatever the coloring on them and also we got a fifth so first i want to give a thank you to my brother for mounting these for me the day i got them i just kind of showed up to the shop and hung around for a few hours and he put them on for me at the end of the day also i want to give a thank you to street speed for hooking me up with a good deal on these 
as you may not or as you may know street speed is sponsored or has a sponsorship with pro comp so i got these for a really really good price i got all five of them for 130 bucks each they retail at like 240 or 218 or something like that so i got them pretty much 50 percent off and i even got a fifth so i paid for five tires less than i would have paid for four of any other mud terrain tire now if you're curious to how they drive or sound um they're actually not all that loud they drive really smooth you couldn't even really tell that you're on a mud terrain that's actually the quietest mud tire that i've ever had on a jeep um before i've had walmart mud tires um some pet boy mud tire and bfg mud tires on this and my girlfriend's jeep and these are definitely the quietest and they definitely look awesome I think I would definitely pick these over a BFG. I'm pretty sure they're cheaper and I actually think they look cooler and they have like a lot more room to grip mud or rocks or whatever you're gonna use them for. I haven't driven on them in the rain yet so I don't know how they do in the rain but I'm assuming they do pretty freaking well. Now, we are going to head over to Columbia for our car show so I will take you guys to the car show and show you some cars there. Well guys, we're at the car show down at the river. So I'm gonna get some clips, do a little editing. Hope you guys enjoy it. You'll have to let me know if you do. Guys, I just love having mud tires on my Jeep. It looks so cool coming down and walking up to it. This Jeep just gets better and better every time I do something to it. I'm freaking in love with it. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. Um, like I said, I do have front floor pans for the Jeep. They will be put in at some point, so don't I jump on my case about this rusty jeep i will fix it but i will see you guys next video peace out